of um, such regimes, you have to kind of be tricky in, in how you word things or, or deal with things. Otherwise, yeah. you don't get to make anything. Right? Yeah. So as you said to jail, I know to write a book. Yeah. Uh, but is it at the same time that she has to be tricky? It, it is at the forefront that she is saying, hey, look, I'm doing this and I'm not supposed to. But yeah. look, I'm doing it. Yeah. And, then, and you're watching me do it. Savvy. It is very controversial. It is. She, she's, it's very savvy work. I think it's slick. As much as it discusses the social, political discourse of that culture or location in a, a critical manner, it also still has a nationalist presence, right? Yeah. And so much of her work, like, I would say at least 90% of her work is about the, the conflict she feels as being an artist and wanting to express herself, but having to find a way to work around the set parameters that she's given. And I feel like that struggle is so apparent in her work. And I think that really gives an oomph to her work that wouldn't be there if it wasn't so difficult. And that, that, I mean, that brings us essentially to uh, what Wafa Barani is working with. Um, you know, being an artist who's working, uh, he's a Palestinian artist, and he's working in uh, the border town um, of uh, Ramallah. And what it is, there's a, it's a security fence for the border town. Um, it's just five miles away from the security fence, and so what? Uh, he's creating, um, he's creating these futuristic, um, 50 years into the future, he's making these models of this town and projecting, it's, what it is, is it's the 100 year anniversary, if you will, of the Six Day War um, between uh, Israel and Palestine. And so he's projecting this the city uh, 50 years into the future as war-ridden, demolished, um, torn down, and you know, it's this really negative outlook on the future of Palestine, essentially. Um, and so it, 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 that raises some interesting questions with his work. Uh, you can either um, look at it as an inevitability with his work, like, yeah, if, if we continue down this path, it is going to be demolished and war ridden and worn down, but you can also look at it in the, the same role as well, you know, let's make some changes so that this this small cardboard model does not become our future. Yeah. Um, and so uh, the work takes the name of Quality well, 2067, and it's essentially the border, it's the border fence. Quality is the border fence between. Uh, Ramallah and Al Ram, and uh, so that's he has in this piece. You'll see that there's the airport, the border crossing, and then three refugee camps that are surrounding this area, and um, and it's just very desolate, and it's it's, it's a very morbid look uh, into the future. By using cardboard, do you think that I mean? Just as Zutan did with his um, large inflatable architecture, he brings this sense of fragility to all the work with this grim apocalyptic view of uh, the future. Um, and I, I believe he also, uh, I, did he mention the, uh, the window panes are constructed from 35 millimeter film? They are, yeah, right? Yep. So there's, there's this, also this voyeuristic viewing of the occupants in these buildings and um, so it seems like the longer you investigate it, it, it it's going to take some time to take it in but it's meant to do that yeah i mean it's, yeah it's a, I mean, it's a full cityscape that right. you have to navigate right and maybe this is a far off read but I mean, thinking in the context of these window panes are this 35 millimeter film these are very fragile, very easily destroyed um, 
urban structures, the scale of them, they're not very big, they're on individual pedestals. They hang off these pedestals. And so another thing to consider is coming from his Palestinian view of this specific circumstances, knowing in this world exhibition that there are other cultures living this and seeing this, uh, very potentially a read into it is the, the other, other cultures, political views, social status, all those things as looking into this um, weave and in comparison to scale, we are very much bigger than them. In that piece, like we very easily are intruding as other onto their space, onto their location. That's another read into that word. Yeah, and then in one of the little cityscapes, he has a little caricature of Spider-Man, and he quotes, he said, you know, uh, Palestinians love Spider-Man because he can scale walls. We're surrounded by walls. And so there's this kind of escapist desire, you know, for the, what he says, you know, Palestinians feel. But then I've, I've also read very many negative reviews on his work. Uh, a lot of Palestinians are saying that it's not valid at all, that it's shit, that they're taking great maybe offense it, by maybe it. Maybe it's hitting home for him. Maybe, I mean, well, maybe that's... Or, but maybe, you know, maybe they're trying to, maybe they're actively trying to make a change and then he's just specifically looking at the negative issues at hand. Whereas, you know, there are people trying to make change and there are people trying to resolve these conflicts. Whereas he's dwelling on, you know, w what is essentially inevitable. You know, so I mean, he's so they're he's, trying to look at it in a positive, a positive outlook, and he's bringing in the negative, kind of a pessimistic which is perspective, confronting what is and making everybody uncomfortable. Well, no, it's not just that. You have to get into the history of his work background. That's the only piece he's made. Yeah, and he's shown it the same piece in several occasions. He's a one-hit wonder. He's a one-hit wonder. He's a one-hit wonder. Well, an issue that I think a lot of people are having with him as an art, as a maker, is, you know, that I think it'd be fine and dandy if he made a shit ton of these in different perspectives and different bodies of work, uh, or the same body of work but different perspectives of that. But it seems like, to, and maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like he is not actively producing much work so there's the question of genuinity like how genuine is he as a maker as an artist um by not exploring the full realm of possibilities like what is he doing yeah. what has he done this is the same work that was in sachi gallery in 2008 that's in the display manual i mean if you look at his res i mean what has he done he has on his resume he has four shows Let's and they're all, <laughs> yeah, and they're all the, the same work, you know. So mm. because you know, if you if you read the um, uh, if you if you read the conceptual framework of the the Istanbul Biennial, you know they're questioning and they're talking about you know what is the role of art? What is the role of the Biennial? Is it functioning properly? Is it functioning well? And so. I mean, it's my thought that maybe they, you know, these guys are bold enough to actually include artists that aren't functioning on this level. You know, like they're creating, possibly creating that dialogue within the biennial that, you know, uh, you know, giving you artists who are working, uh, you know, on the level, and then artists who are possibly one-offs. You know, maybe he, maybe he saw the show and you know, the Sashi show and read the reviews 